I will say that I believe in what we're doing here. I left something else that was quite nice to be in, <laughs> you know. I left another position to come here uh, at this stage in my life because I believed that this was where God wanted me to invest my time. I am Sophia Fosua, and I am the Assistant Professor of Christian Ministry and Congregational Worship here at the Wesley Seminary. I have been also the Spiritual Formation uh, Professor for the uh, Tom Benjamin Cohort in Indianapolis. My name is Dr. Kwesi Kanal. I'm a faculty member here at the Wesley Seminary. I particularly play a role as the liaison with the uh, Benjamin program, both the MA and the MDiv programs. Bishop Benjamin has been such a long-standing figure in the Indianapolis area, having pastored at Light of the World for over four decades. He's a community figure. He wanted to pass on a legacy to the African-American community in the area of seminary education. He saw the need, he reflected on his seminary experience, we both uh, reflected on our respective seminary experiences, and we said, you know, what we got was good, and it was everything that was offered at that time, but how could we improve upon that and speak specifically to the ethnic community that, that we have a passion for? Things changed for me the very first day of class. Uh, I was literally overwhelmed with the amount of knowledge. Uh, it was a thrill to know that this was what I was going to be able to learn and be a part of. This program has definitely deepened my relationship with God. It has made me look at different areas that I'd never even thought about as ways of communicating with Him and hearing from Him. The genius of the IWU Wesley Seminary Spiritual Formation Program is that spiritual formation is not just a routine, it's a lifestyle. So the first hour of the day is spent in spiritual formation. We might uh, have a mini devotional time. Those are usually deep and intense. And then from there we will study some of the classical writings in spiritual formation. The uh, classical writers are often standard um, fare that, that you would find in most seminaries, but for this particular program, we have selected each semester a particular writer from the African American or the African community that has excelled in spiritual formation work. I think that's one of the, the hallmarks of this particular program is that uh, it is specifically catered to people that are doing ministry in an African American context. So for the Benjamin program in particular, we're thinking about the 38th Street in, in Indianapolis. How does what we're teaching here work in that particular context? The contextualization of the program allows you to be self. Typically, uh, we don't have uh, black authors, you know, and uh, in my undergrad, I had no uh, black authors, and it's totally different when that happens. Being in the program at Wesley has, a, has affected my personal ministry. There's not a week that doesn't go by that someone is saying how much they, they are enjoying um, what I share with them. One of the things I think is unique about this program, again, because of the way that the Wesley Seminary operates, is its cohort system. That means that you have the same group of students that are going through the program at the same time, and they form a support group. The cohort stays together from the time that they enter, and they learn how to live with one another, how to worship together, how to pray for one another, and they even study with one another. So this group has gone from just being students in a class to being family. The friendship, the, um, the warmth that, is, um, that takes place in our class is unbelievable. I'm learning about other denominations and just really growing to know people in the community that I probably wouldn't have gotten a chance to know otherwise. You befriend others just like you who are in ministry, who are going through the same challenges, but there's a closeness that develops that I've never been a part of uh, from an academia standpoint. Not only do they support each other while they are going through their academic rigors, but our hope is that we have instilled within them the need to form community, that they might enter into some meaningful partnerships in ministry where across denominations, a Baptist and a Methodist or someone from a Kojic denomination working together to say, how can we take this block for Jesus Christ?